Hello again. Look at this. What a lovely day. Look at the sky. Beautiful. Right, definitely going down the seawall today. No messing about, no excuses. Wonderful. Oh yes, pleased to report relatively little wind as well, which is very nice for a change. Which might mean something later on, but we'll see when we get there. And um, yeah, I got back from Torquay OK yesterday, got mum to her appointment. For anyone that's sort of following that thread of the, uh, you know, videos. I did do a little bit of filming, about five minutes, while I wandered around waiting for her to be done. Which will pop up in a video soon. Nothing really that exciting though, I just wandered down to Curry's from the hospital. There's the wild bunnies and the Lido. And a bird. Quick spot of observation from the old observation deck. There we go, the sea wall. As we know, my favourite walk of all my walks. Yeah, it's certainly a nice day for a walk today. Perfect weather. And I've got my uh, headphones today, which I didn't have when I went to talk here yesterday, and I was quite lost without them. But I got them back in now, so I've got my podcast going. Lovely. And it's a happy train at Spray Point. Lovely to be able to hear it without like wind going mad. But well, that's new. We've got a tyre now tied on to the back of where they were staging the art exhibit, hanging down. Well, the uh, channel symbol still visible. And hopefully we're going to have a little glut of trains now because we're at the 11 o'clock mark. We have a very slow train approaching and in my mind there should be one coming the opposite direction soon. shot of the waterfall as we see another slow moving train heading in the same direction as the other one. We I'm not sure what's happened to the one that's supposed to be heading on the upline. I could check real time trains, but to be honest, I'm just enjoying having the walk. Here we go, here's the one we've been waiting for. Oh, a lovely clickety clackety one, that one. 
wasn't it? Diddly dum, diddly doo. Still stuck there. Salty dog, lovely. Got quite a high beach here underneath the uh, railway based upon the height of the uh, railings. It's amazing the uh, second I get down on the beach they send train after train after train and we're off Wee! yay drone anyway I want to take a look at the houses at the top of these cliffs because uh, someone in the comments said they stayed on that one on the right back when it was like a guest house all into different um, apartments um, they didn't seem to think it was particularly wonderful, which is fair enough, but um, not mention no names or anything. So anyway, we're zooming on it a little bit. So it's just going to be a nice, quiet little flight again. We're not going mad. We're not going to be soaring around like, like Billy O or anything. But yeah, there we go. Someone outside there, see? In the garden. Just at the bottom right of the house. Lovely tennis court. Let's look at the one next to it, this fancy one. There we go. There's a the big one there with the two next to it. And that little um little house at the bottom there, at the bottom of the garden almost, you can see, uh, was sold for three million. And it wasn't the big house at the back there, it was just the um that little separate one down the bottom there. Three million to live in a corridor at the bottom of someone's garden. Anyway, let's go up a bit higher, taking the view over this way. There we go, looking out towards Dawlish in that direction now. And we pan round nice and slowly. And there's Holcomb in all its glory and carrying on round we get to have a little glimpse and a peep at all the houses at the top of the uh, cliffs that we don't normally see right in the centre now is the uh, main road see going up through the middle there which we walk down when I do it up and over the top all right let's fly along towards the towards the uh, ness in the distance and spray point of course All those houses with their gardens at the top of the cliffs there. Looks like there's been a little bit of slippage in that garden. If you see there's some sort of blue fencing around it in the centre now. Of course you can always pause this if you want to. You want to sort of see any more detail. I haven't tried to try not to turn too fast this time and try to hang on to certain shots a little bit longer like has been requested but it's all a learning curve really it's not just learning how to fly the drone it's learning how to make the sort of video that you all want to see which is fine right up higher now i think i'm going to do a 360 in a minute for google maps oh, that's right yeah i can remember what i did you see because obviously i'm recording this voiceover later i went along a little bit further first and then once it changes to me looking down that's after I've done the photo for Google Maps, which will be in the description. Look at that distance you can see in the in the far thing. That's the uh, Dawlish Warren Rocks there. You can see quite clearly just up above the headland. Ah, oh, there we are looking down. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah, I've done the 360 photo now. So that's um that's basically where the salt dog is. And I thought we'd have a little ride along the uh, the railway line, so to speak, or next to the railway line. 
see what it looks like directly from above. I was really, really hoping we we're going to see some trains. But, um, well, it wasn't to be, I'm afraid. Despite staying up in the air for about 15 to 20 minutes in total, of which four minutes you'll see. There we go, I'm further along now, just coming back down again. Still waiting for trains, no trains. Boo! So I'm flying back towards myself now. I mean, I did a bit of other stuff, but it was more testing things with the drone, so I haven't included it in the video. But here we go, heading back along the seawall. Lovely. There I am, still on the beach, all on my own. Right down there in the middle. Say hello. Hello. There we go, off a shot. Boop. Now, I haven't used Return to Home automatic today. I'm actually flying it back to myself, by myself. So I've got to adjust it and put it in the right place. But yes, I'm nearly there and it's coming in now. Going to land on my hand. Lovely. Well, I can't say I didn't enjoy that. Quick look at some of those houses at the top of the cliffs there. That's a request for um, one of my subscribers. And uh, a bit of messing about for me playing with some different settings and that. Of course, I've done a 360 photo, which will be in the description. So you can look at that. Lovely. Enjoyed that. It wasn't too windy either. Perfect. It's actually a little bit later on now, but I'm shooting this to put in with the rest of the drone footage so it's all together. And it's to answer a question I've been asked a couple of times, and probably other people wonder, is that if my drone is so small that it lands on my hand, etc, etc, why don't I just take it everywhere with me? Every day? And the answer is, quite simply, that it is that small, it does land on my hand. However, the, um, this is my bag. There's the drone there, tiny, right? But that there is the controller, right? And the controller is much bigger than the drone, much heavier, has a lot of the stuff in it that makes it work. So I take this bag with me, carries everything together, and then I can also use it to put my um, glasses and all the accessories to take off the drone. But that's why I don't have it with me all the time and I've got my license zipped up in the top there as well. Should anyone in the authority need to see it? Um, yeah, so basically the drone itself, like I say, is tiny. There he is, that's the top of it. But it's the, um, it's the controller that's the sizable, heavier thing. So I'll put them all in the bag and just take it out when I think I'm going to fly it. Anyway, back to earlier on. Shame we didn't get any trains this time coming along while I was up with the drone. But um, I don't know what that was about. Yeah, I was up for quite a while, in fact, in fairness, although you'll only see maybe two minutes of it. I was actually in the air for uh, approximately a quarter of an hour, so I'd have thought maybe one would have come by, but none did. Never mind. There we go, they sent one now instead to make up for it. But the drone's away. It's no good. Ah, I'm not complaining. Send as many as you like. They have sent as many as you like. They sent us a crossover. Lovely. Wee! Did you do? Did you do? Click and clap. Oh yeah, that's the sound. I wish they all made that sound. Be great.
happy train. Yay. There we go, that was the sea wall this morning. And uh, what a nice walk that was. Enjoyed the drone bit at the end. Lovely. Right, gonna pop into town now. All good. How oh, the tree's gone? They're taking it away. See another one next year? All good. Well, there we go. We're nearing the end now. That was a nice walk today. Especially with the weather after the last few days. I've been able to do very much or go very far or get soaking wet. Well, it does say it's supposed to be raining about two o'clock this afternoon. I can't see it at the moment, but who knows? Who knows, eh? And there we go, almost back to where we started. Wind is indeed picking up slightly now, but that's all good. And like I say, it's supposed to rain later, may not. But that'll do for today. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it. And see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Take care, bye.